What's up, everybody? Tony Scongeli here with his six-star Phoenix Unlock video. Now, I had already unlocked Phoenix at six-star, so I just wanted to make sure I had some gameplay footage. I had asked plenty of people for my stream, and plenty of people got back to me. I ended up selecting the footage given to me by a friend of mine, Sidra, so I will make sure to credit him below. I'm just going to go over uh, the team Sidra used. Well, the power of the team Sidra used, and some points on the fight. Now, as a rule, I would always recommend when the legendary event is announced to start saving resources. Sometimes you don't need them, but sometimes you'll attempt the fight, and even though you don't have to three-star it, it's a little bit more difficult, and not every character used to unlock is necessarily worth heavy investing. So I would check out resources that discuss what investment is required for the characters. Sidra's team is 168k in power, uh, which I believe is roughly 50k higher than the lowest reported unlock, but your mileage may vary. It's best to just make sure the second the event is announced, have a backstock of resources, just in case you need to bring someone up. Uh, all legendary events are three-day events, with the exception of their first pass, in which they tend to take five days. So, the good news is, as with most legendary events, you're given free characters. In this one, you're given a phoenix, and phoenix is ridiculous. So, feel free to use her. The opposing team is going to open up by doing a couple AoEs, targeting a character, more or less making sure your phoenix dies as quickly as possible. She'll probably survive long enough to stealth your entire team. Uh, you're going to end up being able to target Juggernaut first due to Hand Sentry's hide and his taunt. So do as much as you can that Juggernaut's not going to be particularly damaging. And then work on the characters as they show up. The priority order is more or less uh, Loki, the Mordos, the hand sorceress. Other than that, you'll find that the characters aren't particularly strong. Most unlocks aren't as difficult as, say, Mystics 3 9 or, uh, you know, Enter or Fear of the Darkness, but there are always things to keep in mind. Uh, for example, at this point, uh, you're getting drops down, and soon a Doctor Strange is going to show up. So if you haven't killed Hand Sentry yet, uh, expect a uh, more difficult time taking him down. By now you're probably noticing there's not much to this fight. It's your standard beat em up and there's not many high damage dealers. So I have pretty high confidence that a team between 100 and 130k will be more than adequate to knock this down, even if it takes you a few tries. Nothing really worth discussing here, especially for a 6-star event. So, hopefully you found it as easy as my friend Sidra did, and you can enter your arena shard and start destroying the meta, uh, as was the case the first time she was online. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've been Tony Skinjili. Have a good night, have a great day, and I'll catch you later.